UAB IT is replacing the current digital telephones on campus with modern voice over internet protocol, or VoIP phones. VoIP technology is a method of transmitting sound as data over the internet, rather than via the traditional public switch telephone network. The new telephones you will be using offers updated technology, including new features that will be discussed in this training video. This video will familiarize you with your new Cisco 7841 telephone. You can watch the video from start to finish, or you can jump to any topic by expanding the video description below and selecting a specific section. So to get started, make a selection or simply sit back and enjoy the step-by-step -step demonstration of your new Cisco IP telephone. The handset has a light strip that flashes for an incoming call. The light remains lit as an indication of a voicemail. The telephone is equipped with a 3.5 inch high resolution display. The screen is made up of three sections. The top screen shows the number that will be used for caller ID and the date and time. The middle of the phone displays the information associated with the line and feature buttons on the phone. The bottom row of the screen is soft key labels. There are four programmable feature buttons. These buttons are customizable to display the phone lines to which you have access. Speed dials, DC lamp fields, or features. The buttons eliminate to indicate line status. The line flashes amber for an incoming call. It's solid green while you're on an active call. And flashes green when you put the call on hold. A shared line is solid red when in use by another subscriber and flashes red when the line is placed on hold. You have four soft keys that change depending on the state of the phone. More options are available by pressing the feature button on the far right with the two dots. The navigation ring is located just above the keypad. Use the navigation ring to scroll through the menus by pressing the outer ring. Pressing the center selects highlighted items. You can also select menu items by pressing the number next to the desired selection. The back button returns to the previous menu. The three buttons located to the left of the keypad provides access to voicemail, the directory, and your application's menu. The volume control button is used to adjust the volume of the ringtone, headset, handset, or speaker. The six buttons located on the right of the keypad are the hold, transfer, conference, headset, hands-free, and mute buttons. There is a unique number on your phone that you will need when you're requesting service or reporting issues. This is the MAC address. To determine the MAC address, press the Applications button. Option 4 will show the MAC address. If the phone is out of service, you can find the MAC address on the back of the set. The back of the telephone also has your Ethernet, handset, and headset ports. You can customize your telephone by pressing the Applications button and choosing Preferences, either by using your navigation ring or by pressing 2. The first option provides the capability to change the ringtone by line. After selecting ringtone, you can select a line you wish to change. Scroll through the list of ringtones and press play to hear a sample. Press set to select, then apply. When using a headset, you may hear your own voice in the earpiece, which is called headset side tone. You can adjust this by selecting option 3 and modifying the settings. To adjust the back lid of the display, choose option 4. You can then turn the light on or off. An incoming call is indicated by a flashing light on the handset, a flashing light on the line button, and a ringing call icon displays with caller ID information. Notice the three options on the soft key. To silence the ring, press the ignore soft key. Press the decline button to send the caller directly to your voicemail. To answer the call, press the speakerphone or headset feature button, or pick up the handset. 
You can switch from handset to speakerphone by either lifting the handset or pressing the speakerphone button. Notice the call timer is displayed during active calls. If a second call comes in while you're on an active call, a window displays caller ID information. You can decline, ignore, or answer the call. When you answer the second call, the first caller is automatically placed on hold. You may switch between connected calls by pressing the blinking feature button. To end a call, press the release button, the end call soft key, or simply hang up. To make a call, you can dial the number before accessing the line. You can then use the backspace soft key if a mistake is made when dialing. To make the call, lift the handset, press the headset button, or press the call soft key. While on an established call, you may make a second call by placing the first call on hold and pressing the new call soft key. Use the redial soft key to dial the last number placed from the phone. To put a call on hold, press the hold key. The hold icon appears and the LED indicator pulses green. To resume the call, press the hold key again or press the flashing green line key. You can also use the soft key to put a call on hold as well as resume the call. To transfer a connected call, press the transfer key or soft key and dial the number. To complete the transfer without talking to the recipient, wait for the transfer recipient's phone to ring, press the transfer key again, and then hang up. Or you may wait until the recipient answers to announce the call. While on an active call, press the conference button or soft key to establish a three-way call. Dial the second party's telephone number and press the conference key again. The conference ends when all participants hang up. Forward All allows you to send your callers to another number. To forward all calls, press the Forward All soft key. Then enter the call forward target phone number exactly as you would dial it from your phone. To verify that your calls are forwarded, look for the Forward All icon in the line label and the forwarding information in the header. To cancel call forwarding, press the Forward All soft key. The personal directory can be used to store frequently dialed numbers and can be set up from your telephone. After selecting personal directory for the first time, you will need to enter your Blazor ID as a username and 112233 as the PIN. Press option 1, personal address book. Then the submit soft key. Select new. You can enter the first and last name, but the nickname is all that is required. After you enter the nickname, press the phone soft key. Enter the telephone number as you would dial it. Then press the submit soft key to save the entry. The corporate directory contains employees who are listed in the UAB directory. After selecting the corporate directory option, you can search by last or first name. And then dial the number by selecting the entry and pressing the dial soft key. To view the last 150 calls, press the Applications Feature button and select Recent. If you have more than one line, select a line to view. To only view missed calls, press the Missed Call soft key. To dial from Call History, scroll and select the desired entry and press the Call soft key. Press the message button on your phone to access voicemail. Enter your PIN followed by pound. The default passcode will be 112233. Welcome to Cisco Unity Connection. Please. The first time you log into voicemail, the system will walk you through the setup. 
to log into your voicemail from outside of the system, call 205-934-0088. You will be prompted for the mailbox ID, which is the last five digits of your telephone number. Enter your PIN, followed by pound. Welcome to Cisco Unity Connections. You can also dial your telephone number and press the star key when the greeting answers. He breaks the desk again for dog. Enter your ID, followed by pound. Enter your PIN, followed by pound. Welcome to Cisco Unity Connections.